Okay guys, I'm going to quickly go through the ingredients that I have and I'm not going to chop these vegetables on the screen. I'm going to chop them off the screen. I want to keep this video as quick as possible. Now, to start off, this is what I have. Uh, a kilo of oxtail. I've got here three spring onion, a small onion, one red pepper, a scotch bonnet chili, five maggie cubes, ginger and garlic paste. Now, I normally use the fresh one, but I don't have any at the moment, so I'm just gonna use that for now. And here you've got dry thyme, all-purpose seasoning, ground nutmeg, and a tin of chopped tomatoes. I'm gonna go through the measurements on what to put into the elk cell as we go along. So yeah, let's get started. Now, I'm going to boil the meat. I'm gonna turn on the heat on low. And add 800 millimeters of water. Alongside with that, I'm going to add four Maggie cubes. Just squeeze it with your fingers. And here you go. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of garlic and ginger. And now I'm going to add one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. Half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And use half a teaspoon of dry thyme. And I'm going to close the lid and leave it for 45 minutes. So, it's been 45 minutes. Now the oxtail is soft enough. What is not yet ready? On this stage, you can also taste it just to see if taste it to see if everything tastes the way you want it. If anything, you can just add Maggie cube, another Maggie cube. But if not, that should be fine. Okay, now what I'm going to do is fry all the vegetables. I'm going to add a bit of oil. I just add a reasonable amount of oil. And what I'm going to do is everything and now I'm gonna add one in here remember we started off with five and we added four here and then I'm going to add a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. Give it a stir. So with the tin of tomato, I'm not gonna put everything in there. I'm just gonna put about a quarter to half. So I'm just gonna put half of it. Half of the tomato tin in there. And just give it a stir. Okay. 
I left it to simmer for about a minute. What I'm gonna do is add the oxtail, just the oxtail, not the juice, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this. Just get the oxtail and mix it with the sauce. What I'm going to do is just stir it and just put my heat to medium. You just need to give it a stir. Now, I've been stirring it and mixing everything together for five minutes. So what I'm going to do is get the get the pot that we use and just put the heat to medium. Make sure it's going to medium, and we're just going to pour it in there. Okay, just pour everything in there. That's why you have to keep the juice. You don't have to throw it away or use water we're going to use the stock the stock that we use for the oxtail we're just going to use it now i'm just going to stir everything together just mixing the stock with all the meat and vegetables now what i'm going to do next is add the scotch bonnet chili now this is completely optional it's just something that i like to do so I'm just going to cut into half and just put it in there and close the lid, turn the heat a bit up, so it's just between high and medium. So we're just going to leave it for 15 minutes and it should be done. So it's been 15 minutes. I'm just going to quickly give it a stir. So on this stage what I do, I'll just get rid of one or two because you can't mess with these bad boys. So just give it a stir. And here you go. Can you smell it? Like literally, can you smell it? It smells really nice. So that's it. Oxtail all done. I turn off my heat. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Let me just turn this off. The heat is off. Oxtail is done. You can pretty much eat it with anything. You can eat it with rice, plantain. You can eat it with fufu. You can pretty much eat it with anything. So that's it guys, thank you very much for watching and if you did try this recipe please let me know how it goes for you and also if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe, share it and like because I post videos every weekend, mostly Sunday because your girl works full time. So yeah, see you next week, bye!